Hi there, and welcome back to uh, Chef Tony's Pantry. Um, hope you're well, staying safe. Um, as promised, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is our um, energy balls, uh, as shown before. So, before further ado, which I'm sure you've already done, wash your hands. I'm gonna put a little bit of gel on. All right, that's me done. Okay, so, if I said before, if I said at the beginning, this will be the easiest thing you make ever, okay? So, if we take a, a little look at the ingredients, what we've got, which are on the recipe. So, we've got some beautiful uh, dried cranberries. We've got some sultanas. I quite often get asked the question, what's the difference between a sultana, a sultana, a raisin, and a currant? The reality is they're nothing. They're grapes, they're just dried for different lengths of time, um, processed slightly different, but they're all the same thing. We've got some beautiful honey. We don't have to get too precious about the honey. We can use whatever uh, honey we've got. Some desecrated coconut, some oats, and some cocoa powder. And we've got some beautiful uh, zested orange. Okay, as promised, the easiest thing you'll ever make. Um, don't worry about your kit. I've got a flash bit of kit here called a Thermomix. If you've got a blender, if you haven't got any of those things, you can do all of this by hand, all right? So you can chop up your cranberries a little bit more, chop up your sultanas by hand, get them in a mixing bowl, and use what God gave us, our hands, to mix them all up. We're gonna use this blender, all right? So we're gonna go in with our cranberries, we're gonna go in with our sultanas, we're gonna go in with our oats, Coconut, I often get quite asked about coconut as well. Is desecrated coconut real? Yes, it is. It's just, it's just processed, all right? So it is grated, dried, and that's how it works. Uh, cocoa powder's gone in there. We've got some beautiful honey, and uh, Brett will like this because this will be the, the camera shot that they all like to take. <laughs> there go. Beautiful, beautiful honey. The honey's really good as well because it binds it all together and keeps it nice and moist. I've zested, or you can grate, or you can chop some orange. And as I said before, the recipes, if you haven't got them in front of you, are all on the website. Let's put that to one side. And then we put our magic piece of kit on, and hopefully it will work. And then you give it, give it a good blitz. <laughs> seconds best thing to do open it up have a little look and you're looking for something that represents a paste or breadcrumbs like don't worry too much if it goes too dry because the honey that's in there um, if you know you can add dates in there the your sultanas they will bind it all together so if it looks a little bit dry you think well that's not gonna work trust me it will all right so you take a good handle a handful, like a what you would say maybe a golf ball size just get them in between your hands. And you, you essentially want to make a little golf ball so you can mold them, find them, just get them round and 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 round. And again, you can make these whatever size you want, whatever shapes you want, until you end up with something. Like so. Okay? And that is your high energy ball. These can be stored in tins, plastic containers. They will generally last for days. They're a fantastic, um, fantastic uh, source of slow release energy. All right, so you know where you would have maybe a mid-morning cup of tea, maybe and a biscuit or a chocolate bar or something like that, and you get that initial hit of energy, and then it kind of dwindles away after like 10, 15 minutes. These, because they're slow release energy, with the oats in there, with like dates, with sultanas, that burst of energy will keep you going for a lot longer. So maybe when the children or the young adults are working, that will take their kind of learning level just that little bit further. All right, so there you go. As promised, nice and simple energy balls for the whole family, the all levels, all right? Check the recipe. Doesn't matter if it goes wrong, you can always try it again. Um, there you go. So next time, uh, we'll be making some beautiful roasted butternut squash. Uh, Marmite and cheese twists. Thank you for being here. Take care. Bye.